The U.S. state of Alabama has carried out the first known execution of a death row inmate by suffocation with nitrogen gas. Kenneth Smith, a convicted murderer, was put to death after the Supreme Court again denied a last-minute appeal. The method had never been tried before, and Smith's lawyers had argued that it amounted to cruel and unusual punishment. Well, the Commissioner of Alabama's Department of Corrections, John Hamm, gave details of the execution at a news conference. At 7.53 Central Time tonight, the state of Alabama started carrying out the execution of Kenneth Eugene Smith by nitrogen epoxia at the William C. Holman Correctional Facility in Atmore. Smith was executed for the 1988 capital murder of Elizabeth Dorleen Senate in Colbert County. Please confer with the media witnesses for Smith's last words. Smith was pronounced deceased by physicians at 8.25 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, and that was the Commissioner of um, Alabama's Department of Corrections, John Hamm, speaking earlier. Well, after the execution, a number of witnesses addressed the media and described what had happened. Once the execution began, within a couple of minutes, Kenny began to violently push against the straps. His head began to move back and forth violently. This was the fifth execution that I've witnessed in Alabama, and I have never seen such a violent reaction to an execution. Well, Charles Sennett, whose mother Elizabeth was murdered by Kenneth Smith, also gave his reaction to the execution. Nothing happened here today is going to bring uh, mom back. Nothing. Uh, it's kind of a bittersweet day. We're not going to be jumping around, hooping and hollering, hooray and all that. That's, that's not us. But uh, we're glad this day is over. Well, let's discuss this further. I'm joined now by our North America correspondent, David Willis, who's speaking to us today from Washington. Hello there to you, David. Um, first off, what reaction has there been to this execution in the United States? Well, depending on who you listen to, Laquessa, there are those uh, on the Alabama state side who are saying that this was carried out uh, in accordance with the plans that have been in place for some while. Uh, whilst, as you just heard there, there are others who are saying that uh, this was uh, quite a long and tortuous death for this man, Kenneth Smith. Now, we heard from the Alabama state governor, uh, Kay Ivey, who said that uh, after th more than 30 years, an attempt after attempt to, as she put it, game the system on the part of Kenneth Smith, he had answered as she put it, for his horrendous crimes. And uh, her statement concluded, Laquessa, by saying, I pray that Elizabeth Senate's family can receive closure after all these years dealing with what uh, she called in the statement that great loss. But uh, this is, of course, a highly controversial means of execution. Uh, Kenneth Smith had uh, dodged a previous attempt to execute him uh, more than a year ago after officials in Alabama failed to find a vein through which to administer a lethal injection. And uh, there had been various appeals lodged over the planned execution tonight with the U.S. Supreme Court, the highest court in the land. They were all rejected. And not long after the word uh, came down that those uh, appeals had been uh, rejected uh, came the news that Kenneth Smith had been put to death at 8.25 p.m. this evening, local time in Alabama. And uh, David, how is it that nitrogen was used for this execution? Well, what uh, this procedure entails is a pumping nitrogen gas into a mask which covers the face and uh, the inmate is there, the prisoner is uh, therefore made to inhale this nitrogen gas and basically they are deprived, the body is deprived of oxygen. But um, we heard, didn't we, from some of the eyewitnesses to tonight's execution who told of uh, Mr. Smith twisting and turning on the gurney, uh, gasping for breath uh, and uh, uh, spending several minutes alive before this uh, 
lethal dose of nitrogen gas had overpowered him. There will be a lot of questions, obviously, uh, of how the, the how successful or otherwise, if one can put it that way, uh, this method turned out to be. And uh, currently, of course, all we have is the word of those uh, small number of people who were admitted into the execution chamber in Alabama tonight, Laquessa, to witness what happened.